What? All that was inside. Have you ever seen anything like that? Have not. Your ever. face doesn't look happy. So far in the Mekong Delta, we've explored some of the most unique food in Vietnam. I want to be done with this so fast. I even tried my luck taking on the Mekong's infamous coconut religion with mixed results. You see how I'm eating already what is not a coconut. This doesn't look like a coconut at all. Today, our Mekong series draws to a close, but not before we take on one of the region's rarest dining experiences. Look at the skin, it's glistening. Along the way, we'll reveal some of the Mekong's supernatural cooking secrets. Oh. There's yeah. a flame? Yeah. But you can't see it at all. So grab your eating buddy and raise your glass. Today, we're taking cooking to the extreme in Vietnam. I hope you figured out by now that this show is about unique food, which can include menu items that are a bit extreme. Oh my god, look at that! Hey, you just used to cut in the head and then... Oh. But Vietnam's street sides are coursing with delicious offerings like at this place. Okay, wow, man. Wow, that's a piece of wing. What am I eating? Duck noodles. Is this popular in the Mekong? Really popular. This particular dish is a signature of the Mekong Delta. The noodles are made from rice flour and tapioca starch, but unlike any other noodle dishes here in Vietnam, the noodles steep and simmer in a hot pot until they're ready to serve, creating a viscous, sticky broth. Throw in some blood rice cake, chopped duck parts, green onion, fried garlic, crushed peanuts, and breakfast is served. They kind of just hacked this duck to pieces and then they throw in everything. It's one of those soups where you gotta be a little bit careful. We've got a little bit of cake. Yeah, that's is really cool stuff. What? It looks like rice and blood. Yeah, you can see the rice in there. And then the noodles. Let's talk about these beautiful yeah. noodles. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. I gotta try it right now. Mmm, it's so delicious. Mm. It's like that thick tapioca noodle that you could hardly keep on your chopstick. And then the soup itself is just very viscous. It has a nice viscosity to it. I think it's a nice way to compliment a lady. Oh, girl, you look viscous. Viscous? Yeah, it just means thick. You mean like she's fat? No, dude, like, have you ever described a woman as thick? I have not ever. It's like she's got a lot of meat on her bones. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, that's not a new word. You could say it about a guy, too. Okay, you, you look thick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, blood. Blood rice cake. You ready? Right. Yes, yeah, sure. Mmm. Wow. Really sticky. Like a sticky, spongy, mm. but that is super unique. It doesn't taste bloody much, you know, mainly like mm. sticky rice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dude, can I be honest with you? I don't think I'm cut out for this coconut diet. I mean religion, maybe either. I lasted about half a day. You see how I'm eating already what is not a coconut, but I really like to eat different kinds of food. And it's also kind of my job to eat other food. You don't get to follow your heart. Or follow my stomach. But it's just, <laughs> I like the kind of feeling of spirituality, peace, certainty that comes with blindly following a cultish religion. But I think today we could still find that temple. There's a temple for the coconut man himself. Any kind of unanswered questions in my heart, we can discover there. Sure. In my heart, I have unanswered question in my heart that I want to figure it out at the temple. Right. Okay. Should we eat? I got a nice big piece of duck here. Mm. What are we doing today? We're gonna go to the local home where we're gonna learn how to make rice wine. And then we're gonna eat iguana. Wow, have you ever eaten iguana? I have not. No, are you excited? How are you feeling? I am excited, but at the same time, I feel a little bit guilty because we're gonna kill the animal for meat. Yeah. Yeah, but you know. What about this duck? This duck died. Today, we are once again joining the guys from the YouTube channel Danda Minte. I've been tasked with picking up some items for dinner. By now, I know this means something unusual awaits me. Laum and I are sitting down with a real exotic animal seller. Are all the animals here meant to be eaten? What are people not eating here? Even the python is also like for meat and they can't get a skin for a wallet. Is that legal? It's legal, actually. But they're being farm raised? They hunt them first from nature and then they keep them in the case and raise them. But then they actually like give birth to the baby ones, like mm. the new generations. Hunting and eating wild animals was fairly common in the past. 
During the Vietnam-American War and without any ability to farm, eating wild game was a necessity. Do you ever pay any mind to what might be endangered or might not be endangered? Is that something you guys think about when you're hunting? He and his family are really aware of that. For those kind of animals that are restricted by the government, and then they are not gonna hunt them. I thought we were coming here for an iguana, but it seems we've just upgraded to a water monitor. So he's in this giant cage. He's gonna try to catch one of them. He's grabbing one by the tail. They are just hissing at him. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow, he hold it all. The monitor lizard weighs in at over 12 pounds. After dispatching, it's placed in scorching hot water to loosen and remove the outside layer of skin. Wash it again with clean water, then open it up to reveal what's inside. This, oh, I think it is, but I've never seen anything like this. All that was inside, but there are these individual like globules. Mm. That is gnarly. Have you ever seen anything like that? Have not. Your ever. face doesn't look happy. Oh my God. A lot of fat. How half its body weight is fat. Is this what I look like on the inside? If you zoom in on it and you break it apart, it behaves like fat behaves. It's full of oil and now it's oily. Oh, you didn't have to smell that. <laughs> you can't just smell everything and a stranger offers you to smell. Are we gonna eat the fat? It's edible, but we can also use it in a medicine to treat your burn skin. It's as good as, you know, the fat we get from the python. I used the python fat before. And that worked? Yeah, it's worked. All right, I'll try it out. <laughs> later, later. The meat itself will be cooked two ways, stir fried and grilled. First, break down the monitor piece by piece. Add in curry oil, five spice powder, turmeric, sugar, MSG, fish sauce, chilies, shallots, lemongrass, and galangal. Mix it up and leave it to marinate. For the grill, they're using coconut husks, burning them down to red hot cinders, then tossing on the tail, ribs, and head. While that cooks up, we're dropping by a neighbor's house to grab a crucial item for this meal. Hopefully, it's not another reptile. How long have you been making rice wine? 26 years. So you're pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this illegal? <laughs> Yeah, it's just normal. So yeah. the government doesn't care if people are just making tons and tons of booze on their own property, no problem. No restricted at all. Like, if you like, you can do it. That's yeah, great. Vietnam. That's the kind of freedom I can get behind. Yeah. I like that. Rice wine. It starts with a batch of cooked sticky rice left to rest in these containers for about three days, along with some yeast. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> it smells a little sour. A little fermented, but I think a lot of that is the yeast. Almost has kind of a beer smell to it. On day three, she adds water and lets it ferment for three more days. Tomorrow, they're gonna cook this one. After you cook this, do you give this to the pigs or something? It is gonna be used to feed animals, like pig. Do the pigs get drunk? <laughs> they get all the alcohol uh, apart. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a problem for them. A problem? They don't get to have a good time. After being cooked a while, then there's a steam. The steam will come up and follow the pie getting through the big tank of cold water and it's gonna turn into liquid and dripping to the oh, panel. Oh, how strong is it? What percentage of alcohol? It's about 60%. Wow, is yeah. that gonna burn my throat? Definitely, yes. The results can be a bit intense. I'd advise not drinking it while lighting a cigarette. Oh, oh my God. you see, <laughs> it definitely burns your throat. Yeah, that's strong. Time come right. We have our booze right here. Now, as far as I understand, there's two different boozes. One is 25, which is like 25%. 25,000 dong. Oh, that's the, the price? The price. <laughs> we have a bowl of alcohol. We're gonna grill the sweet over the alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a flame? Yeah. There's an invisible flame, but you can't see it at all. That must mean there's no impurities, I think. If you don't believe me, you can hear the crackling of this squid. Do you think you could cook like a whole five course meal like this? 
<laughs> While that's cooking, I'm gonna pour some of this booze for us. Try not to get too toasted. This is more of just a taste test. Wow. I just <laughs> I just burned my arm here. <laughs> you burned your hair? Squid is finished. I suspect that the best part is right here. Crunchy little legs. <laughs> Try out. That's really good. Mm. It's so smoky, warm, and then of course chewy. But then it fills your mouth with this smoky taste where you're like, mm, I need a drink. This booze, what percentage is this? 45%. That's pretty good. How often do you drink? You just try, you like test it mm. only. I get it. I mean, you're working around it all day. I mean, when I worked at Applebee's, did I want to eat Applebee's? Applebee? Anyways, are you okay. ready? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. All right. <coughs> Wow. It's so warm. You can feel it going through your... It's warming my soul. And then you have the booze, and it makes you want more of the food. So you always need something to go back and forth from. Oh, I think I just got a midday buzz. It might be because I'm very dehydrated. Ma'am, I think you're doing things right. I like that you don't get high off your own supply. That's <laughs> smart. That's business. That's booze economics here in the Mekong Delta. This was a great experience for me. Thank you so much. I'm going to go and night. Yeah. Oh good, they do that to Vietnamese people too. I said all that stuff and he's like, yeah, he said thanks. <laughs> That's a lot, you know. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know, I went to the neighbor's house and I got some booze. It's strong booze. You can light it on fire and cook squid with it if you so desire. But we're gonna drink some now. I do wanna ask this. What are the rules in Vietnam around drinking? So everyone is supposed to drink it up. Right, don't leave anything. Just drink all the booze. I love it. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Bye. Bye. Yo. Yo. Oh, it's like nail polish remover. Oh, it's intense. And that makes me crave for this dinosaur we have right here. This monitor was hacked into about 100 pieces here. Oh, a hand, I'll have a hand. This is pretty gnarly, man. Just jumping right into it. It just touched me on my cheek now. I got Oh, that is hard to chew. Okay, fuck this hot sex. Mmm. <laughs> Super chewy. Once you get it out, that's pretty good. Mm. So spicy, fresh lemongrass. I mean, there's like curry flavor, very multi-dimensional. Look at the skin, it's glistening. It's so coarse and tough. Even without the skin, still very chewy meat, but a little bit easier. If you take a bite of food, oh. you're gonna take a short. <laughs> oh. oh, Christ. How old are you? 19 years old. You can drink legally? In the USA, we have to wait till we're 21 years old to drink legally. Right now, he's kind of stripping out the meat from the tail. Look at this. It's white meat. It almost looks like chicken breast, huh? Whoa, that is very much like chicken. A little bit chewy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not like chicken in the way that everyone describes a new meat as like, oh, it's like chicken. If you just snuck some of this monitor lizard in the fridge in a Cool Whip container after Thanksgiving, nobody would know the difference. A little bit of a dip. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a fermented tofu yeah. sauce. That is delicious. It's like fruity, spicy, and sweet. Stunning. Mm. So delicious. So that. Wang, wang, wang. Very good. <laughs> Did you have to translate when I said ngang wang and you had to say it again but better? <laughs> Cheers. Yo. 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 What's it all about? After these three days, do you think you came any closer to finding out what life is about? Well, somehow, I would say. Oh, really? Yeah, because you know, like, to, to understand about life, it takes a lifetime, you know? I like that. It takes a lifetime to understand life. By the time you get it, it's over. What have you learned? I understand more about the people in the Mekong. For me, I see people here are like tough. In what way? Do you tough, like, but they don't even know they're tough. Like, it's hot, it's humid. When it comes to food, 
It's like whatever they find around them, they're willing to chow down on it. They don't need like air conditioning all the time. They're just tough. They can adapt to the situations around yeah. them. That is one of the reason why, even though I have been here for so many times, I still love it. Just like the first time. Mm. That's to be honest. Yeah. I learned that the coconut is an amazing thing. It gives life. It gives energy of all kinds. Right. The coconut is very powerful. It's not simply something that you eat, you live on with that, but it actually stands for you know the people mm. and the land. And it seems like that was enough fuel to build everything we see here. All this is from that guy. It's kind of just like an amusement park now for tourists, right? <laughs> But still, he built all this right. with only 4,000 followers. And I have over 75,000 followers, guys, on Instagram. That's incredible. I'm just saying, I know that I couldn't live and revolve my life around one food if I focused my life around all the food around the world. Imagine the impact that could have. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. He found the power in this one thing, but maybe there's a different kind of power in the different food, in the ways that people around the world sustain themselves in different ways. Does this make any fucking sense? That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> Bro, thank you. Yeah. What a fucking series. I'm exhausted. But before we go home, there's one more thing we have to do. Are you ready? Yes. This is the moment. Right. I think we should do it now. I, I'm gonna take one. Can I take this one? Because this one, the one I picked yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Is this turtle achoo? Yeah, <laughs> turtle achoo. And then this one is um, Bob. This is Bob. Little turtle, you have been brave. You've been through a lot today. You went to that scary market. But now, we return you back to the environment, well, similar environment from which you came. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Okay. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, he's waiting Dude. for his <laughs> I think this is a moment for you as well, turtle. Turtle achoo. Turtle. It's like Pikachu, but with a turtle. Uh, turtle achoo. I'm so happy to release you back to Mother Nature. Be happy and you won't ever got caught again. Oh. Right. Good luck, That's little cool. buddy. Bye. <laughs> Back to Mother Nature. Wow, my man. Thank you again for joining me on this challenging but rewarding and um, like I learned a lot type of mission. In informational? Educational. Educational type mission. Nailing it. Laum is actually a guide for one trip, and one trip is who you should have guide you next time you come here to Vietnam. One trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Chang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about one trip, check out the links in the description down below. I am gonna see you next time. A peace. A peace. Great. Let's um Let's go home. I don't mind the reasonable amount of trouble.